William Hill sponsors White vs. Parker on Sky Sports Box Office. What a night, what a night of boxing and I'll tell you, I just said to this man walking down the corridor, I'm so proud of you because you are one of the toughest son of bitches I've ever seen in my life. How he out tough, Carlos Tacman, I will never know. Probably one of the most stunning endings I've seen. One of the best heavyweight fights I've ever seen. Take it away for questions, guys. Derek, congratulations. Thank you. Is that, one, is that your best night of boxing? Uh, I think it was a great night because I had my hand up at the end of the fight, so uh, it was a great night. But I think I had I had good fights the night before, so I enjoyed it. It was okay. How's your shoulder? So my shoulder, my shoulder, my shoulder is okay. It's just now, it's my, my arm. I'm gonna go to the doctor now. When did that kick in? The last shot. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 Thank God. It was the last shot, basically. Uh, I was like, you know what? It's time I just send this to the, I send this home. So I send it, got him, send it again, and then I knew he was done. That crowd there must have felt special to you. Oh yeah, you know what? There's no fans out there like English fans. You know, if you come in the room and come in the ring or doing whatever you're doing in, in any sport and you deliver a great performance, you know, they, they love it and they they pay so much money for those tickets. So why can't I entertain them, you know, just entertain? Who do you want next? You know what? This this uh, this L I got on my record with Dylan White. You know, I really want to avenge it. You know, I just want to say congratulations to him to him and his team for a great fight. You know, uh, uh, it, was a, it was a great fight. You know, him and Parker. Um, you know, give a shout out to Parker as well for coming to be to come and put up, put up a great performance. Uh, thank you. Um, but you know what, Dylan looked like he had more power, punches and stuff like that. So uh, congratulations to him and his team. Trying to try Ibiza now? Oh well, yeah, man. <laughs> Ibiza. Eddie was there, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what was that best punch you've ever thrown? You should see the ones I've chucked outside the, the ring, my friend. <laughs> uh, that, that was a good punch. Yeah, you know, it was a great punch. I hope I get the fight of the, fight of the year, you know. Do you reckon your fight was better than my event? Oh, yeah, I think you guys know that my fight was better than many event. You, you know that for a fact. Uh, there's no two ways about it. You, it's, even if people want to vote. You know, I, I, I did come. I did say what I was going to say. I said this is going to be a war. You know, uh, I had Brian Jennings for about two weeks down in London. So he's an athlete. I was running with him, sparring with him. And uh, it was great, so I was prepared for those rounds. That's why I was not sitting down, because every time I was sparring with Brian, I was not sitting down, so I was like, you know, I'll stand for the first, for the couple of rounds first. And then after, my coach said, you need to sit down. I was like, okay, I'm nicking it, sit. <laughs> Eddie, this puts Derek back right up there. Mm. Completely, because he was fighting, you know, not for his career tonight, but staying in the big fights. And he didn't just win, he won in an epic fight. I think he has so many options now, and it's remarkable at this stage of his career, if you like. I mean, it weren't so long ago, he was in, he was in Monaco, yeah. losing for the European title, and it looked like, oh. And now yeah. he's come back, he's like, he's right up there in the world now. Voted the best, best fight of, of the year with the European Union, basically. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah he saw that, isn't it? <laughs> No, well, you know what? Uh, I'm born again. You know, I I spend my whole time for going to church and stuff like that. You know, uh, I've changed completely. Done a 360 degree turn on my life. Uh, things I used to do before, I don't do it anymore. You know, uh, you know, I don't drink anymore. I stopped drinking. I stopped doing so many things. Uh, so basically, it's when you find God, some sense things is changing in your life. So that was it, basically. Uh, you know what? It, it was more emotional for me because you know I went through a lot. You know when I was preparing for this fight. You know I had I got my I got people I fight a long time ago. Like I was like you know what? If this don't happen, you know what? I need you to come and help me train again. And they came and they put me in my paces. So and then plus it was very emotional because I was reading everything and people were just writing me off. You know I was like wow. 
But the man upstairs didn't write me off. He told me, he was kept telling me, believe in yourself and all will happen. Mate, you know what, yeah? I tried to take the center. I'm not gonna lie to you. I tried to take the center of the ring and, um, and then Don was like, move your feet. And I was like, okay, if I start moving my feet, if I get caught any clip right now, it will just drop me. So let me go on the ropes. So I used the ropes and then every time he opened up, I was like, I don't want to trade with him. I'm just going to try, I'm going to catch eight, 95, 90, 95% of his punches and I'll just land clean shots basically. And that's what I did. So uh, I was landing more to the body. I hit him a couple of times in the head. He didn't budge, you know. I was like, Jesus Christ, you know, this is a long night. And that was it. You know what? To be honest with you, I was dazed. <laughs> I saw him on the floor and I thought he slipped. <laughs> <laughs> and then and I saw the ref counting. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, no, let me just step in again and don't even jab, just send another one. And then when I, because well, I weren't close to him, he thought I was coming to hold. He wanted to hold, so I just whipped it again. And then that was it. It was hard. He's a, he's a tough guy. I'm, I'm sorry to say this. That man is a tough man. You know, uh, I thought I would have the emotion to break him down and stuff like that. I had a little bit, but that was amazing. As soon as you strike one on the iron spot, this guy's hot now. I mean, you've got a packed division. How are you going you to deal with that? Well, I think he has so many fights he can fight. He can fight Deontay Wilder next for the WBC world title, unquestionably. He can rematch Dillian White again. He can fight Gerald Miller. He can, I mean, there's so many fights for him now, but I do think there's something about the British fans that Dell was a very proud person. And I think there were times in the fight where the crowd were like, oh, Derek Chisor, and then like, he was taking shots, and then you just see him go, pop, 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 like, those. I think, I think in that kind of atmosphere, I think it really lifts him. I'd like, quite like to see him fight Wilder. I, 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 mean, I was going to say, Wilder, because I'm going to set the guesses you know better than I do. I think that it's going to be. Uh, Wembley in April, the rematch, Joshua against White, and maybe yourself against No, but, then, but, but, but still people have got to fight in the meantime. Like, Dylan's going to want to fight in November, so is Dell. So, but the difference is, like, we're sitting here tonight saying Wilder, White rematch, Miller. We could have been sitting here tonight saying, what do you want to do? Dave Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Webb, I think. Nick Webb, yeah. you know. But, um... It's just, a, it's a, it probably ain't sank in from you, but it's a mass, massive night, mass, and an epic night. I mean, that'll be remembered for a long time. Everyone who comes tonight will never forget that. Never forget it. That's the great thing about the sport. It's the greatest sport in the world. How can it not be when you get fights like that? I mean, it's just everything. What about Parker? you consider fighting? Yeah, I consider fighting Parker, but you know what? I think Parker's got a lot of things he needs to work on because, uh, you know, he's a He's a fighter, but he chucks his, he's half his, when he chucks his jab, his hands are down. Uh, he was not motivated for this fight, I don't think so. Uh, I think when he made money from the AJ fight, he kind of forgot about boxing, basically. And that's the same guy I saw in there, because the things he'd done in AJ fight, he was not doing in there. So he looked in great shape, but he didn't have it. You know? So I think Parker, he's not going to fight again. I, I, I see that Parker won't be fighting again. You think I'm talking crap, don't you? No. Yeah, yeah. He's a great, he's a great man. He's a good man, but I don't think he'll be fighting again. He don't want he he, he don't want to train anymore. He hasn't got a hunger. I think I saw that. Eh? Of all those uh, heavyweights you mentioned, there are any, how many of those fights do you think will be here? I guess it would make sense, obviously, for the British fighters. Yeah, but it, it, I mean, if Wilder said I'll fight Chisora but only in Brooklyn, yeah. I don't think he'd ask for that. That's what I was many times. I mean, we put it on Design, we put it on Sky Sports Box Office, the money would be there for everybody. Uh, That's if I get a visa. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get that, Devil. You'll get, get that somehow. <laughs> I'll start rolling down on a boat, yeah, so. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, but I, I just see big fights for Del now in London as well. I mean, I just, you know, the, the Dillian White fight was a very close fight with Dell. I mean, you know, I know everyone's got a view, he could have gone either way. And, you know, that fight could have turned everything if he won that fight. But tonight was a much bigger win, I feel, than what that fight would have been at the time. 
because of the way tonight unfolded. It was just incredible. And given yeah, Takan's performance, you mean so? Yeah, but Takan's a very good fighter. Fucking tough. I mean, he would have walked through like 90% of the top 15 in the world tonight. He was motivated. He had like a 10 week training camp. Yeah. He, had to, he knew that if he could beat Chisora, he could talk about other big fights. I mean, he could, I saw him went up to Adele at the end of the fight, he was in tears, and he just went, I can't, how did you do that? I can't believe it. I mean, they were so, you know, and the round that you stopped him and the round before, you, were in, you looked like you are in trouble. Yeah. You know, you, you start and take a lot of shots, and I was thinking, I don't know, Don, thinking, well, Don might even pull him out here. He's starting to get heavy duty, and then bang, out of nowhere. And Takam was like, that doesn't happen to Takam. I mean, it happened to him against Povek. But it hasn't happened to him in any other fights. I mean, the Parker fight, I mean, AJ fight, he went down, but he was out tonight. Out. Incredible. Michelle, there was during the chances of you doing a couple of 20 grand that coming from Higgins. You've got to get paid first. You're going to get 5% or 2%? Two. 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 I'll buy you a bed. Yeah, buy me a bed. Talking about Wilder, sort of, you know, if you did fight him, him to come over here to boost his profile in England as well. So you're yeah, but he's he's lost a lot of money. He's done he don't know what he's doing. He's got a team of people around him that can't pay him any money. We're offering him a load of money. And he thinks I'm an asshole, so he don't really want to deal with me. But when he realises I'm paying him three or four times more than everybody else. But now you can offer him you put him on a plate. You got Dillian White, you've got Derek Chisora, you might look at Del Boy and go, Come on, that's Del Boy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Imagine, imagine Wilder against Chisora at the O2. Oh, mate. Oh, Brooklyn. If I get the visa. Did <laughs> you, you agree with Derek's assertion that Joseph is there out of this? I, I think that uh, Derek knows fighters' mentality probably better than anyone. And I think with the money that Joseph Mark Parker made against uh, Joshua and the money that he made tonight, he could live a wonderful life. And it's going to take some real hunger to want it again, coming oh. back for small purses. Depends on the tax man getting first, he might come back early. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's the only reason Parker's been fighting? What, for money? money? No, I think, he, I think he's a fighter. But the problem is, when you make that type of money, as Marvin Hagler said, it's very difficult to get up and do your heel sprints when you're wearing silk pajamas. <laughs> 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 right? I do heel sprints wearing silk pajamas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but you're mad. So he's got, I don't know, double figure millions, right? So how much do you want it? That's all it comes down to. How much do you want it? If you want it in your life, you go again. Now he'll say, I'll be back, I'll do this, I'll do this. When you go back to New Zealand, and you count your money and you go, do I want to build back? I mean, it was a risky, I, I admire him. The thing is, the 12th round kind of saved him. Because although he could have, another 30 seconds he could have had white, he kind of left the fight on a high. Do you know what I mean? He lost the fight, but people will be saying, we'll have Parker back, but will you want to drop down the money? You know, so that's all about hunger, and I don't know him well enough to comment. There'd be many fighters that would never fight again. You'll miss Higgins. Higgins is great. Higgins is great. Parker's great. Kevin Barry's great. They're a lovely team of people. And if he never fought again, it wouldn't mean he was a bad person. If he never fought, if he never fought again, it would just mean that he's made his money and maybe the desire's not there. Higgins is walking around talking about a rematch, is that something you can say? Well, he's still talking about a rematch of the AJ fight as well. But it was a great fight. I mean... That's a long flight back home. <laughs> but, but I think it's... I wouldn't rule out a white rematch, but it's not, it's not at the top of this. But I, I would definitely like to work with Parker again in fights here or in the States. The Gerald Miller fight is a great fight for him as well. But again, is he going to want to fight again for that type of money? Coming off two losses? Maybe he comes back and gets a win first. I don't know. But we'll see. Right. Done. Thank Any you. Questions? Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. William Hill sponsors White versus Parker on Sky Sports Box Office.